Okay, uh, we're about to begin Act Two. Um, let me talk about the uh, uh, production of this recording um, first. Uh, I think it's important for uh, children to learn the basics about the play, and this program is for that purpose. And I, for one, think that the Shakespearean language is quite simple and clean, uh, which makes it a good reading for uh, children uh, or anybody who is not used to the English language or English culture or American culture, um, that is. Um, but at least uh, from the children's vantage point, many books are not um, explained in a sort of a simple manner about what's going on between all of these characters, um, which cause it to be somewhat uh, hard to understand. Um, I'm sure uh, similar efforts has been done by a lot of parents to uh, uh, make this kind of effort to have children understand the play. Um, but uh, uh, this is our take, and I think uh, all takes are somewhat different. So uh, at least this is for our children, and uh, we put it on the internet so everybody can enjoy this. Um, clearly, uh, at least to me, if Shakespeare can sell tickets for standing room in 1600 for this play, uh, the children of um, 21st century should really be able to enjoy the play, and uh, this really should not be a burden for anybody. Um, I certainly hope that everybody listening to this video uh, enjoy it as much as we do. Um, and now, uh, let's uh, back to our story. Uh, Act 1 has uh, basically set things up for us. We know all the major characters by now, and uh, we know the major problems by now, which is old Hamlet told Hamlet to uh, kill Claudius. Yeah. And um, uh, obviously, Hamlet was not thrilled by this job that the old Hamlet put to him. Um, but let me ask you a question: Does is Hamlet uh, an expert on uh, killing people or revenge? No, he's uh, more of a scholar. Yeah. Person. Right. He just came back from uh, Wittenberg. Wittenberg. Yeah. Um, actually, talking about this, um, uh, if if you have something like this happen to you uh, right now in United States today. Uh, what is the best way to go about doing it? Government. Uh, Don't government do doing it. what? Deal with it. You deal with it yourself. What do you mean by you say you just said government? What do you mean by that? I think she mean like rely on government to do stuff. Yeah, you you call police, right? Yeah. Because we have now in our society we have a complete judiciary. Uh, that uh, that handles all of these things, and all of these people they do nothing but this, uh -huh. and they live on tax money. Everybody pay for them to be around doing this. Yeah. So it's a better idea. You just call police and uh, have the either prosecutor, district attorney, all of these people that paid by the tax money tax. to take care of this, right? Uh huh. Um. Now. Uh, let's let, let let's look at this from uh, um, uh, the, the the Hamlet standpoint at, at, at that time, that uh, in those days the king has all the power, right? Yeah. Um, and uh, of course the uh, when when we look at the the Hamlet's problem that he cannot call police or whatever prosecutors to take care of this for them, right? Uh huh. And uh, now, you know, in the United States, we have uh, three branches of government. They're they're more or less independent. Uh huh. And you understand what which three branches? Judicial, legislative, and uh, something else. Executive. Oh yeah, executive. Yeah. I think um, X. <laughs> executive is uh, essentially the president and so, so right. Legislative yeah. is the state, right? State it's a, no, 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 mm. no. Legislative is Congress. Oh. And uh, judiciary is our core systems. Actually, there are three branches for the federal government. There are three branches for the state government. Yeah. And you know why we have all these? Well, why don't we just have one, just have president and run everything? Because the president like could... Might not be right. Yeah, could be wrong. Might not do stuff right. 
Well, actually, um, probably more than the other way. When you give all power to the president,、um, he might abuse he it. Yeah,、he、right. He might abuse it. He's mo- most likely he is gonna abuse it anyway, right? Because he can do whatever he wants. And he could say, "Oh, I can be president forever," and then just keep on abusing his power. Yeah. Now we look from the、uh, Hamlet standpoint. Now it is the king, right? Yeah. That he needs to revenge against, and there is no regular way to go about it, right? Yeah.、Mm-hmm. So the only way is plan a murder. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And now.、Um, We know that now today,、uh, that um, uh, for instance in China,、uh, it is a dictatorship. And then,、uh, for instance, a、uh, the the Chinese president come out and say, "Okay, we cannot talk about universal value."、Uh-huh. Okay, universal value means the value that everybody accepts. So、yeah. he come out and say,、thinks. "We cannot." Like everyone thinks. I'm sorry. Everyone thinks. Well,、yeah. it doesn't matter. It does. I don't think it's related to how people think. It's a universal value. Yeah, yeah, right. It is how everyone thinks.、Uh, for instance, we think、uh, freedom is important. Yeah. That's a value thinking. Okay. And、uh-huh. we we think that、uh, democracy is a way to、uh, run government. In other、yeah. words, how 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 do we run government? We elect. That everybody votes and the majority win. We、uh-huh. believe that and.、Um, Uh, what what the the president in China is trying to do is to get people stop talking about it. Yeah. And、um, this seventy one year old lady、uh, reported this. She's a reporter, and she reported this. So they arrested him and sentenced him. Her, I mean, <laughs> they arrested her and sentenced her seven years in jail. Which is bad, right? You cannot、yeah. even talk about this. You cannot even talk about what you want and whatever. But we're lucky to be in USA. We could just talk about it freely. Ah,、uh, do you think、uh, United States can one day become China? Yeah. Yeah, it's、Why? possible. Why? Because um the because the people, people might vote. vote for the wrong person, and that wrong person might do something that they terrible. Yeah, like Nazi Germany, right? People more or less elected Hitler to power. Yeah. Okay. But that's Hitler. I mean, like the guy with the fancy mustache. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you think he's he's a joke character, but in those days, people think he's a savior. Once he, he came to power,、um, the inflation stopped, and the、uh, the people get jobs. The the, the the German economy took off, and everybody think he's a big deal. Everybody supported him, and of course, that kind of state run monopolistic. Economy is not going anywhere, and then、uh, the the German begin to have problems. Once they begin to have problems, they don't have any power to do anything to 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 sort of vote Hitler out of power. And then、yeah. we have this war going on.、Um, and then in the end, Hitler kills himself. Uh, so now, um, uh, the do you think the uh. That's, that's, yeah, government is there for a reason, right? For instance, yeah, yeah.、Uh, if you have a problem with somebody doing murder or whatever, the government is the best place to go, right? The、yeah. police, the the court, and all that. Yeah.、Um, but the, can the government、uh, solve all the problems? No. Yeah, and、uh, do you think now the young people believe in big government or smaller government? Big. Do you believe in big government or smaller government? Small. Why? Because, because what? Because. Because well. Well, what do you mean, like big government and small? There、government? are things you can run by government. Does government interfere a lot or not interfere? For instance,、uh, if you run a business, right? You say,、uh, if you want to do a business,、um, you have to go through. Uh, in uh, in in China, you have to go through twenty、uh, government. Uh, departments to get approval. Here you probably just go to、um, two, one, three, four to get get. It's, it's sort of you get approval.、Uh, yeah, you get a registered, you get a tax number, and all that. Then you can run your business.、Uh, so the government is here compared to China, for instance, are hands off. You you have more freedom. Yeah.、Uh, in other words, if the government gets big,、uh, then you have less freedom. 
Yeah. Uh, why people wants government to to get big? Because they might think like government can solve everything. Yeah. They, 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 when they look at the problem, they, they always think government can solve it. And then government, of course, they come all around and say, yes, we can solve it. And then they don't. Yeah. Anyway. Well, sometimes they could. Yeah, sometimes they could. But most of the times they cannot. It, it is not an extreme. You don't want to just, you, you don't want to get rid of government. <laughs> okay. Then, then you, you're running straight into this Hamlet situation that he has a problem about a murder and there's nowhere he can go. He has to take the law in his own hand and revenge. Everybody's... Uh, in in a you know wild wild world, um, but when the government got to um, interfere with people's way, like say you want to make money, and the government get into it too much, and that becomes a burden, right? And then, yeah. Then people cannot do what they want to do. Um, by the way, one one time one one thing, for instance, in France, if you have fifty people in your company, right? The yeah. government put a lot of rules on the company. So you go to France, there are lots and lots of companies. They have 49 employees, <laughs> okay? And, and the problem is every single one of those 49 employee company, they can grow bigger, which means the, the boss there can hire more people to grow bigger. And because, yeah. of the, because of the rule, they cannot grow bigger. And the rule came out to say help the people, help the employees mostly, not to help the employer, not to help the boss. Say, so, yeah. you know, you cannot be fired, for instance, right? Mm -hmm. when, when the uh, company is 50 people, then you, people, and when, at that point, when the boss want to come out and fire people, it goes through a big process, right? Yeah. In the end, they just stay 49. And then a lot of people don't get, uh, don't get hired. They could get hired and don't get hired. That's a smart way. Leave yeah. Leave one out. Just yeah. leave one out. But the, from a society standpoint, um, the government did this to help people, but probably it hurt more. Uh huh. Yeah, but that's what we're talking about. Anyway, uh, let's uh, go back to uh, story. Yeah, the story. Now it's Act Two, Scene One. Act and Two, Scene One. Enter Polonius and Reynaldo. Um, did it say uh, where? Where? Uh, no. Okay. No. My text it says inside the castle. Uh, in Polonia's room of his family suite, which means Polonia actually lives, uh, lives in the castle. castle. Yeah. Uh, next. Polonius, give, give him this money and these notes, Reynaldo. Okay, who's him? Laertes. Okay, next. Reynaldo. I will, my lord. Okay. Polonius, you shall do marvelous wisely, good Reynaldo, before you visit him to make inquire of his behavior. Okay, um, you shall do marvelously, wisely. I mean, yeah, okay. You should do really great. Um, <laughs> does he does he really trust Ronaldo will do really great? No, no, because he's By just the way, a servant. Uh, yeah, Ronaldo is a servant, right? He's not uh, like a high-ranking person. Yeah, like a servant, right? Yeah. You 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 know the word rey in Spanish? No. No. You know the place we call here um, Playa del Rey, where no. the where the studio DreamWork. No. Uh, Rey means uh, king, in Spanish. Yeah. So. Uh, the king of the servant is a servant. Yeah. Well, 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 uh, Shakespeare named a the servant a king. king. You see this? Uh -huh. It's probably a joke on Polonius, but anyway, I just want to make a point. Anyway, let's go. Oh, oh also the uh, the marvelously, marvelous wisely. Remember that, okay? He just said you're gonna do marvelous, okay? Let's see what happens next. Ronaldo, my lord, I did intend it. Okay, uh, we didn't go do the uh, before you visit him. Uh, yeah, I've been read an extra I line. Yeah, okay. Uh, before you visit him, you want to. Make, make inquiries of his behavior. You want to find out about him, right? Yeah. yeah. And uh, then Ronaldo said what? My lord, I did intend it. You notice the word did? Yeah, like yeah. he... he wa I already. He, he wanted to, in, like, um, like, investigate Laertes' behavior without Polonius' command before Polonius even mentioned it. Uh, okay, um... Is that a <laughs> well, Ronaldo is a servant, right? 
Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he made his decisions for himself. He's supposed to serve like Polonius and Laertes, right? Yeah. yeah. And now he basically said, "Before you told me to investigate your son, I'm gonna. I have already decided to investigate him, right? <laughs> Is that a good thing? No. no. Okay. Uh, next." Uh, Polonius, Mary, well said, very well said. Okay. <laughs> What's Mary? Uh, Mary actually is just uh, M A R Y. That's uh, uh um, same as uh, it, like it's, um Mother of Jesus. Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh okay. it's like a when you guys say O M G, like oh oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it it it's. It's oh my gosh, okay. not God. All right. Um. So he said, "Well said," and then he added on, and "Say, very, very well, well said." Uh, why do you think he he said that? Uh, maybe because um, Polon. I don't know. He's probably not really listening. Oh, probably. he probably didn't catch the did one, right? Huh? He should say what. You gonna do what by yourself? That's what Polonius is supposed to say, right? Should have done. Yeah, and he he didn't do any of that. Probably he just he just didn't pick that up. Next. Look, you, you sir. sir. Inquire me first. What dan dancers. dancers are in Paris? Well, who's dancers? Danish uh. people. Danish people. Oh. Um. There. Um. There are a lot of Danish people in uh in England in those days because uh Denmark uh occupied, uh conquered England, uh mm -hmm. at some point in history. Um. And I'm I don't know about uh the the the, the Danish people in Paris, but there, there are communities there. There there are uh, Danish people living uh in, in Paris. Paris. Yeah. Paris. Yeah. Next. And how and who, what means and where they keep. Next. What company at what expense? Okay, okay. Um, so Polonius wanted to know who, right? Who is who lives there, right? Yeah. What means? What 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 does means mean? Like why they're there? No, means is your ways. Oh. Uh, your ways of uh, living there, which is your means of living there. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh -huh. Ways and means, you know how how you how they live there, and where they keep, like where they live. Yeah, and uh, what company? Uh, who who they befriend? Who who they hang out together? Oh yeah, like company. No, I thought you're meaning like company, like Coca Cola. Yeah, well that's that's a form of company. That's when people get together and uh, do something. Do they form. Business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, company right. is like you need some people with you. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. To hang out and talk. Yeah. Uh, at what expense? How much money they pay for things? Next. Mm -hmm. And finding by this encompassment and drift a question that um, that they do know my son. Encompassment. What does that mean? Uh, it's what round, is it? Indirect, roundabout, not direct way. By going around. Drift okay. of questions means. You don't ask a particular question. Ask some question not really to this point about the son, his son, right? Yeah. And then you make people kn know that you know Laertes. Uh huh. Next. Uh, come you more near than your particular demands will touch it. Okay. Um, when they come to you more nearer, well, we're not gonna pick the English here, but when when they come to you closer, right? When you when you become more familiar with them, yeah. or they familiar with you, then you put the particular demand that you want to know Laertes, right? Yeah. That will touch this topic next. Take uh, you as twer. Yeah, twer. Twer some distant knowledge. knowledge of him. So you 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 take yourself as uh, like a, you you know uh, Laertes like very well. Distant knowledge means actually not very well. You okay. have some distance sort means somewhat, uh, yeah. Sort of. Well. Yeah, you know, you know him a little bit, and then somewhat. now, uh, yeah. And next, uh, Polonius is gonna give an example. As thus, I 
know his father and his friends and part in him. Do you mark this, Reynaldo? Yeah. Uh, so uh, the, he's saying that, uh, I, for instance, you can say, I know his father. You, I, I know his friend. And I know him a little bit in part. But uh -huh. not really, you know. Do you mark this, Ronaldo? You know that what that means, right? Yeah, mark is like, yeah. like, do you get it? Yeah. Next. Ronaldo, I very well, my lord. Okay, I means. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. Next. There is a vowel change. We'll, we'll talk about it. I uh, there is a vowel change at some point between the Shakespeare. Uh, I mean, Shakespeare's time and our time. I'm yes, and you see, yes is a. E in the right, or sound right. I is the I sound. There, well, we'll deal with that later. Probably find a better place to do it next. Polonius, and impart him, but you may say not well. But if it be he, I mean he's very wild, addicted so and so. Okay. Uh, no, he's, he's keep on with the in part. <laughs> know him part, right? Uh, yeah. No, so then he's uh, not very well. If it be he, I mean, if that's a person, whatever. <laughs> uh, then I, he's very wild, addicted to so and so. What does addicted to mean? Like, like bad habit. Yeah. yeah. Like he really he can't, like, stop, doing he can't stop doing something. Drugs. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good point. Next. And there, and there put, put on, on him what forgeries you please. Okay, you, you as you please put some forgeries on it. What's forgery? Like you copy someone's signature. Yeah. Forge. Um, or like a draw a dollar bill or something, right? Counterfeit. Yeah. Um. So this means you make up, make something up, right? Yeah. Yeah. Next. Mary, none so rank. As may dishonor him, okay. take heed of that. Mary, the com comes over again. This, this guy swear a lot, right? Yeah. Um, not so high rank. The, not so high, so the, you will dishonor him, right? Yeah. So uh, take heed of that. What does take heed? Make mean? sure. And pay attention. Uh huh. Next. Uh, but sir. But oh yeah, but sir, sir such wanton, wild, and usual slips as our companions noted and most known to youth and liberty. Okay, but sir, he's calling Ronaldo sir. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. In in those days, sir is, means like a noble or something. But anyway, um, such wanton, wild, usual slip as our companion by uh, the youth and liberty. So basically, you, you do this, wanton means careless, wild means wild. <laughs> and all these usual bad things, right? Slip means going, slipping down, that means doing bad things. Um, uh -huh. that, that companion, youth and liberty, you know youth, right? Yeah. Young like people. Young. Yeah. Young, youth and, li what does liberty mean? Like a libertine? Statue of Liberty? No, the, like uh, like people, they, they're not living with their parents anymore. So they have oh. their freedom. They like you oh. when you guys like when you guys go to college, then you bound to do some wild things. Um, maybe that, that, that you probably won't. Or maybe yeah. too not too wild. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or not uh, wild look, at all. OK, we record this today. OK, when you guys do wild things, I'm going to play this part of video audio to you. OK, next, next. Uh, Reynaldo, as gaming, my lord. Uh, what's uh, gaming? Like gambling for money. Exactly. Uh, he's trying to uh, uh, get an example, right? Now, before mm -hmm. we uh, get to the examples, let's uh, uh, let, let, let's break here, and we'll come up with the, we'll come back to this.